hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy in this problem it is said that the street lights a and b are suspended from the two poles as shown right so we have these two street lights they are suspended from this a and b and then both of these street lights have a weight of 50 pound right this is given right so we are required to find the tension in these three cables these three supporting cables this ad this ab and this bc and further we are required to find the height of this DE pole so that this AB cable remains horizontal, right? So now if we look into this whole system from this direction and if we analyze this uh, point B for equilibrium, right? So let me write that at point B, right? So for point B I will have to draw the free body diagram. So now as we can see that this BC cable, this AB cable, uh, all of these are in one plane, right? So we can draw, we can consider them as a 2D, right? So if I draw the free body diagram, right? So then we will have uh, this BC cable tension which will be acting in this direction, right? Similarly, the 50 pound weight will be acting vertically downward at this particular point, right? This will be acting vertically downward. And similarly, the tension in AB cable will be acting in this direction, right? So we can write that this is AB cable force, this is BC cable force, and this is the weight which is 50 pounds, right? And if I draw a horizontal line, so we are given these dimensions, right? So this, let's say that this point is H. Right, so the HC height is 24, right, and this uh, height is 18, this is given, right. So if I draw a horizontal line here, so let's say that this point is I, right, so this IC height is how much, so this IC height is 24 minus 18, right, so this height is 6. And similarly, this BI length is 6 feet, right, so if, if we complete this triangle, let me complete it, I will write this as BC. So this height is 6 meters and this height, this length is 6 meters, right? So then if this is 6 meters and this is 6 meters, right? If these two lengths are equal, so this means that BC is making 45 degree angle, right? With the horizontal, right? So now if I apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0 and if this is our positive direction, so now as we can see that this BC will have one component which will be acting vertically upward, right? And this 50 pound is acting in the negative direction, right? So we can write that this BC is acting in the, this component is acting in the positive y direction and this is the sine component, right? So we can write that BC sine of 45 degrees minus 50 pounds. This is equal to zero. So from this we can find BC. So BC equals to 50 <coughs> divided by sine of 45 degrees. So from this BC equals to 70.71 pounds. Right. So this is the tension in that BC cable. Right. Similarly, if, if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to 0 and if this is our positive direction, Right, so this BC will have one component which will be acting in this direction, right, and this is the cost component, right. So we will write BC, and now BC is known. So BC is 70.71 cos of 45 degrees minus this AB. AB is acting in the negative direction, this is our positive direction, right. So this will be equal to 0. So from this AB equals to 70.71 cos of 45. So from this AB equals to 50 pounds, right? So this is the tension in that AB cable. Similarly, uh, now we know this AB force. So now if we consider this, uh, if we analyze this point A for equilibrium, right? So then we have to draw the free body diagram for that point A, right? So let me draw the free body diagram, right? So then at A we can see that the AB force will be acting in this direction, right? 
and the weight will be acting vertically downward right so let me draw that weight as well so this will be the weight which will be acting vertically downward this is 50 pounds right this is that point a and remember this is that point b right so this is this is point a this is a b force a b force is now known which is 50 pounds and similarly this a d force will be acting away from this point a and it will be acting in this direction right so this is that a d so let me write that this is a d so now again if i draw a horizontal line and if i draw a vertical line here so now as we can see if i draw a line here so then this length is the base of this triangle is five feet right so we can write that this is five feet right and similarly uh, the height this height let's say that this intersection point is uh, k right so this kd length is this de length is h so then this kd length will be h minus 18 feet right so this this height is h minus 18 right so we have to find this h right so i have done uh, i have written these units wrong right so these units are in feet right since the units the dimensions are given in feet right so remember that this is not in meters right these are in feet right but it will not affect the calculation since the angle is still 45 right so now let's say that this ad cable tension is making let's say theta angle right so now if if i write that if we right there if we consider the equilibrium condition at this point a right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero right so if i write that the summation of forces along x equals to zero and if this is our positive direction right so then this ad will have one component which will be acting in this direction right and this is the cost component right so then we can write that this will be this ab is acting in the positive direction so i will write plus ab and then ab is 50 pound minus this ad cause of theta and this is equal to zero so from this we can write that ad cause of theta is equal to 50 pounds and similarly if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero and if this is our positive direction so then as we can see that this ad will have one component which will be acting vertically upwards right and this is the sine component so we can write that this is ad sine of theta so we can write here that ad sine of theta is acting in the positive direction so i will write plus ad sine of theta minus this 50 pounds which is acting in the negative direction so you will write minus 50 and this will be equal to zero so from this we can write that a d sine of theta is also equal to 50 pounds right so let's say this is equation a and this is equation b so if we divide equation b by equation one right so we can write that a d sine of theta divided by a d cos of theta equals to 50 divided by 50 right so a d will cancel out and sine theta divided by cos theta is 10 theta right so we can write that 10 theta equals to 50 divided by 50 is 1 right so this 10 theta the 10 theta of this triangle is equal to 1 right and now if we apply 10 theta to this triangle right so from this triangle we can write that 10 theta is h minus 18 that is the perpendicular divided by the base and this is equal to 1 right so from this we can write h minus 18 equals to 5 if we cross multiply and then h equals to 18 plus 5 so then h equals to 18 plus 5 is 23 feet right so we were required to find this h in order to keep this ab cable horizontal right so in order to keep this ab cable horizontal the height of this pole this de 
pole is it need to be 23 feet right so this is the solution of this problem 